If you missed the previous video, I was driving home and I saw this thing sitting in basically in the red zone on a pretty busy street um, in front of a, like a business park. And this is just not something you find out on the street anymore. This is really kind of uh, rare. So what I wanted to do is just take a look at it real quick as I usually do when I pick something like this up. I should have good bandwidth here. I don't know. I get a, about 120 megs up on AT&T in this location. So we'll let's take a look at this thing. And I believe Pincrest was J.C. Penney's house brand. And this is not going to be near the quality of This is not going to be near the quality of a Zenith or an RCA, so let's see what we got here. Look at the dust on this record. The Rolling Stones through the past. That side's a little bit brighter. Anyway, um... All wrapped in plastic, ready to go. Oh boy. Sorry, it's hard not to shake. Oh geez, do I start laughing? Look at the VU meters. What's up, Chris? I see you're watching. It's hard for me to answer comments and hold the camera, the phone from shaking, and hold this lid up because the spring is broken. Boy. Low quality. So we got our stereophonic Rolling Stones LP in there. Yeah, really, I see that 8 track comment. I'm surprised. Let's pop the back off here. We'll see what we got. Most of these had separate backs for the um, the TV, the stereo, and the record player, but this thing's so cheap it's only got one back. I guess that right there is why the uh, why the lid doesn't want to stay up. Oh boy. Cheap. <laughs> at least it's got a horn in it. Let's look at this right here. Look at this. It's got a lot of hours on it. Good chance the tube is pretty dead in this. Look at how the tape recorder is kind of an afterthought.
Is it hybrid? No, it doesn't look it. It looks... It looks all tubular. This is in that phase where they went from a high voltage rectifier tube and a, you know, a high voltage winding to a lower voltage winding and a tripler. See, it's got a blue tripler there. And those look like Japanese tubes, those. I wonder who this is made by. I don't think this is American made. Manufactured license by. Uh, not Chinese. It's definitely not Chinese. It is probably Japan. Which what's weird is in those days Japan was considered inferior, but now Jap Japanese stuff from that time frame is very desirable and collectible. Sold by J.C. Penney. That's another failing brick and mortar situation. Stand by, I'm gonna set this down and grab a flashlight. Just let everybody look at that for a minute. Um stand by. It's actually got It's actually got a power transformer in there. Where are the outputs at on the Take a guess at the CRT, it's probably uh, uh well done on the well done side. So this, the TV has its own speaker there. So yeah, you can see the cheesy speakers, the, the grill, the, the fake, fake faux wood crap blocks half of the driver. So basically you've got a horn right here and then you've got an eight inch driver and that's I guess okay here's what I'm gonna do hang on I'm going to plug it in set that right there let me get an extension cord Editing really makes these videos a lot better because you can remove all of this fill when you're just trying to do something. And of course, I pop the metal clip off of the. Uh, oh, there it. Well, there it is. It's a metal clip that holds the. Uh, Power on. Mode, FM stereo, tape, phono, FM. Level.
nobody home right there. Mute mode FM stereo. External speakers off, power on, internal speakers. Phono. Well, there's some static there. Oh. I heard something. That's going to need some help, I think. So we're not going to get anywhere with that. Um, uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, you and that Philco Ford, man. I don't get that. I get what your attraction to that thing is. I just haven't been in the mood to play in the mud lately. So the whole thing is a no do nothing. Nothing does anything really. I'm being a complete moron here that I don't know who designed this we're pushing it down turns it up what kind of backwards crap is that look at same thing zero to ten ten is pushing it down boy that's real intuitive and ETM's under the California Look at someone had their favorite station marked. Let's see what it was. I guess their favorite station was ESPN LA. That's the sports, all sports. Oh my God. Mother Miriam, as she. 
It's called flood unprecedented. Some people are trying to compare the records to 100-year records. We'll see if that holds. Bummer. No cassette deck. What a rip-off. All right. That's about it. Party is over, folks. Time to go home. That is an experimental live stream of an early 1970s pin crest, which is JC Penney's the EOLing uh, department store. You could tell it's early 70s because these slide controls date it. They only use these for three or four years. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do something with this in the future. Maybe not. <laughs>